Types of Well Tests This module introduces the different types of well tests conducted throughout the life of a well. It explains the main categories, including exploration tests, which are performed to evaluate reservoir potential during early field development, and production tests, used to assess well performance during production phases. Learners will gain an understanding of the objectives, procedures, and applications of each test type, helping them recognize when and why specific well tests are carried out in various field scenarios. There are different types of well tests, each of which is designed to provide different information about the well and the reservoir. Different types of well tests could be performed at various phases of the well life cycle, the drilling phase, exploration phase, or development phase. Some of the most common types of well tests include drill stem testing, production testing, injection testing, and interference testing. During the drilling phase of a well, a drill stem test, DST, is commonly performed to evaluate the potential productivity of the reservoir. This test is conducted at different stages of the drilling process, depending on the well's objectives, and can be done either as an open hole DST or a cased hole DST. Exploration phase. During the exploration phase, a DST is typically carried out to assess the presence of hydrocarbons and evaluate the reservoir's potential. The test helps determine if the well is a viable candidate for further development. Development phase. In the development phase, the well undergoes either a drill stem test or a production test depending on the specific well test objectives. A DST in this phase provides more detailed information about the reservoir's characteristics, while a production test evaluates the well's long-term production capabilities. Equipment used. Drill stem test, DST. Retrievable packer, used to isolate the reservoir zone and control the flow. Tubing or drill pipe, provides the means to bring fluids to the surface. Flow head, controls the flow of fluids to the surface during testing. Production test. Permanent completion packer, used for isolating the well bore from the reservoir and controlling the flow of fluids in long-term production. Tubing, to convey the produced fluids to the surface. Christmas tree, a series of valves and fittings used to control the flow of fluids from the well. Exploration tests. Drill stem tests, DST, are generally conducted during the drilling process to evaluate the potential productivity of a well. The primary functions of DSTs, whether conducted in open hole or cased hole, are to isolate the target zone, control the well flow, convey fluids to the surface, and acquire downhole data. A specialized tool, called a drill stem test tool, is lowered into the well to measure pressure and fluid flow. Open hole DST and cased hole DST are key well testing methods used to assess reservoir properties during different stages of drilling and completion. Each test provides crucial insights into the presence and quality of hydrocarbons, and helps in making decisions regarding future production operations. The open hole DST is typically a short-term test, usually lasting less than 12 hours, conducted using a flow head. Here's how it works. This test is often performed when unexpected traces of hydrocarbons are found during drilling, and the objective is to assess whether a true reservoir exists. During the test, the well is open, and it helps identify reservoir characteristics and fluid potential. Wireline tools such as RFT, Reservoir Fluid Tester, and MDT, Modular Dynamic Tester, have largely replaced open-hole DSTs in modern practices. This type of test helps operators evaluate the hydrocarbon presence quickly and determine whether further actions like casing and perforation are needed. The cased hole DST is performed after a casing is run into the well and is typically conducted when open hole DSTs or logs suggest promising reservoir properties. Here are the details. Perforations are done in the casing to allow the test to measure the flow characteristics. The flow head is used to manage and measure the production during the test. The test is usually conducted for few days, between 3 to 10 days, during which oil and gas are typically burnt off to ensure safety and pressure control. Results from the test help confirm the reservoir's potential, and in many cases, the well may be plugged and abandoned after the test. Production tests. Production or completion tests. These types of tests are conducted after a well has been completed and is producing oil or gas, and they are done sometimes with a rig still present. This type of testing involves measuring the flow rate, pressure, and composition of the fluid produced by the well. The production tests last longer than DST. Rates can be more realistic, and gain in reservoir information is obtained. Christmas tree, permanent completion, packer, SSD, and nipples are typically used during the test. 
These tests offer detailed insight into well performance and help evaluate production potential over a longer time frame. Reservoir Limit Tests Reservoir limit tests are extended duration tests, typically lasting one to four weeks, that are designed to determine the extent of the reservoir. The main objectives of these tests are to assess reservoir boundaries and understand fluid behavior over an extended period and to evaluate production sustainability and reservoir pressure dynamics. Interference or pulse tests. Interference or pulse tests are used to establish communication between two or more wells in a reservoir and to determine interwell reservoir parameters. This type of testing involves measuring the pressure and flow rate in one well while another well is producing or injecting fluids. Generally, one well shut in, the observer, with bottom hole gauges, and another well flowing, with the surface well testing set up. Interference tests are typically short-term, usually lasting less than 12 hours, and provide quick results that help assess reservoir behavior in response to fluid movement between wells. Injection tests. These types of tests are used to evaluate the productivity of injection wells, which are used to inject fluids such as water or gas into a reservoir to enhance oil recovery. These tests involve measuring the injection rate and pressure, as well as the resulting increase in production. Extended well tests. Extended well tests are long-term evaluations that can last from a few weeks to several months. These tests utilize part of an early production facility or early production services setup, and they provide a comprehensive evaluation of complex reservoirs, helping operators assess long-term production potential and support decision-making for future field development, ensuring that the reservoir can be effectively managed and optimized. Early Production Facilities, EPF, and Early Production Services, EPS Early production facilities and early production services play a crucial role in maximizing asset value and accelerating production timelines. These temporary installations are designed to bring oil or gas production online quickly, even before permanent facilities are completed. Duration, EPFs can operate for a few months to several years, depending on field conditions and project requirements. Cash flow advantage, they enable early revenue generation, helping to fund the development of permanent infrastructure. Flexibility, EPFs can serve as a temporary solution when an existing production installation is shut down for upgrades. Ideal for marginal fields, for small or economically uncertain fields, an EPF provides a cost-effective alternative to full-scale production facilities. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up today's presentation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. See you in the next video.